What are we hiking? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Rule number one, you should always know where you're hiking. The trail, at least. Go ahead. Just give it a guess. Overlook something. Good job. Pickles. Nice socks. Thanks. I'm gonna get you a case of that camera, dude. Thanks. Okay, y'all, sorry for this ridiculous hat. But we've been hiking for like 1.3 miles so far, so not anything. Probably gonna walk like four miles. I was hoping for it to be more, but honestly, he doesn't hike that often. <laughs> I could hike all day if you wanted me to. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go back to the start and then start again then. Okay. I doubt you want to do that. Yeah, I really don't. <laughs> lunch we had a sandwich with chips we're gonna wait to have our rice krispies but instead of rice krispies we used our favorite peanut butter trader joe's brand instead so we're gonna eat that soon if we're even hungry but we're chilling right now we're about almost three miles in and i think it's only gonna be a four mile hike so not not that intense still very challenging for my first time ever hiking with a day pack on or shall i say multiple day hike because this shit can carry a lot back there so we spotted some rock climbers. It zooms in hella slow on this cannon. There you see her? That's crazy stuff right there. That's next level adventure. So we messed up. It was my fault. And Felix even guessed the correct way and I told him there's no way that's the correct way. So now we're walking on an unmarked trail, which is not good to do but it's the only way back. So now, we're in the legit wilderness. And um, yeah, it's my fault, all my fault. And I think he's mad at me, but he'll get over it. Also trying to avoid any rattlesnakes. I've never seen trees this big on this trail, so I'll show y'all. Really? So y'all, we found like, an unmarked trail so we found the way back note to self always listen to the, what the other person has to say even if you think they're wrong all right y'all so we arrived finally we're at like the little boardwalk part of the trail we're almost to the car we probably walked hiked around five miles. I wanted to do like six or seven miles, but this is a good start, you know? And also at around mile 4.3, I could not wear that backpack anymore. So didn't make it all the way, but I'm still super proud because I've never even worn one with actual weight in it. It was a good hike. All right, hello. Right now, as I'm recording this, it is February 17th and it is one month exactly into my Pickles, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> it's one month into my two month challenge. I started on January 17th. If you are new to this channel, I basically am trying to eat minimum one serving fruit, one serving vegetables, walk 1.5 miles a day, and have only three lattes a week. I changed it from two to three 
because two is just unrealistic for me. I know I'm weak, but it's better than six or seven, which is what I was doing before. I wanted to do this challenge to just jumpstart my habits because I feel like before I've been saying all this advice to y'all and then I haven't really been taking it for myself. So I wanted to design something that will jumpstart me into creating these habits. Well, so far the first month, I've just been feeling a lot better. Like I'm actually eating fruits and vegetables almost every day. In result of that and the extra walking, I've been walking around 10.5 miles to 15 miles every week which is really good because before I just wasn't trying at all and I wasn't even looking at the numbers which were really low. I've lost around five pounds. I was consistently weighing in at like 217 forever and now I'm 212. That is just really nice to see. With my bad back I can already feel the difference from that just five pounds strain was doing. I'm just really excited because at first when I saw it going down I was like okay maybe I'm just fluctuating but like consistently for two weeks now I've been 212 so yeah I'm just really happy about that so i used to in my planner like write every day check check like i'm doing this like i to remind myself to eat my fruits and veggies but i kind of just stopped doing that because it's kind of just becoming more of a habit which is what i really wanted with this jumpstart challenge that's really good so at this point i have one month left and with all the changes i've seen it's really making me want to stay dedicated to it i'm just excited to see where i'll be in a month and what habits will have formed after this challenge is over so basically the goal by march 17 is to have these new habits developed making it easier for me to stay healthy long term from now I found this new music program I can use on YouTube without getting like dinged and it is literally such good music compared to what I found before. I hope y'all like the new music because it's gonna stay. I know I had some like questionable music before. That's a really big update because honestly for me even it's just lame editing and taking all these cool shots and then having a lame music in the background. I want it to be an inspiring channel. Y'all know that I want this to be a health and fitness channel as much as I want this to be a travel channel because I am obsessed with traveling. I had to unfortunately cancel that van trip I was talking about with y'all that I did like that 70 workout. Okay, Pickles, like if I complete this by the end of the year, I'm gonna have a van trip, which I had planned, but I had to cancel it because I'm broke. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's not a joke. Instead of that, we are going on a camping trip, me, Felix, and Pickles. And it's gonna be Pickles' second camping trip ever, but it's the first time Felix is camping with Pickles and she is literally the best dog when we're going camping. I don't know, she's just so fun. So that's gonna be at Inyo National Park and for two days. And this campground is really nice because two nights is $35 like total for the fee. So we're just gonna go grocery shopping, fill up our cooler and basically go there and just hike and have a really good time. And I'm gonna film all of it and I'm excited. I've been a lot more into hiking nowadays. I bought my first ever backpacking pack. It is literally gorgeous. It's so big, it has so much room. And I think one day I'm probably gonna have a YouTube haul of like what I can fit in there because it is freaking massive. I think it's like 70 liters. In Las Vegas, there's so many places to hike in area in Las Vegas and it's just making me have like hiking fever. I want to go on more solo hiking trips and solo camping trips with like day hiking and stuff like that. You will see that more this year. Pickles, I'm gonna need you to stop. So if you're into that, definitely subscribe. Tell everyone you know that hemp, that <laughs> hemp, I'm trying to say hike and camp. Tell everyone you know that hikes and camps to start following the channel because I am like a very dead set beginner. Anyone who can relate to literally not knowing anything about hiking or camping, you should subscribe because I don't know anything, which is why I got like 10 books on how to do it. All right, so enough of me talking. This vlog is going to be longer than my usual vlogs because I missed posting this week because of Valentine's Day and also I've just been busy and I'm just trying to get back into the habit of posting like every week or like every 10 days. It'll be iffy in the beginning, but once I get my grind back on, it'll be more consistent. Good girl, yes. Do you want to see some tricks that I taught her? Come on, Pickles. Sit. Roll over. Good girl. Up. Up. <laughs> my god. Why are you doing this? It's because I don't actually have a tree in my hands, so she's like not going to listen to me. Pickles. Up. 